not even the middle, the beginning of a beautiful tire. We're up to Oz Gimel. Birchas Hayrech, Birchas Hayda, Dalit, Oz Gimel. Hope you have the pages of Svarim. Oz Gimel. Do you remember where we were up to? We were talking, Rabbi Nelson was explaining how we see this very often. That Davka when a person Davka when a person slips Mamish al Diuta Tahtaina Mamish. Davka when a person falls to the lowest imaginable place. Not even imaginable. Something that he never imagined. Davka from that place, with the Yuta Tahtaina. We're Kimat, Kimat, Kimat. Whatever Kadush is in this Jew was swallowed up by the other side. The Davke at that moment, when he is rock bottom, the Nakuda Hapnimis, the inner point of who he is, is Misair, is awakened. And then Rabbi Nelson was telling us a Chiddush, that not only the Tzaddik, but even a Jew like this can suddenly, can suddenly become a person who is a Baal Koach Godl. You remember? Baal Koach Godl. Tremendous Koach. And he's able to like wedge like a bone in the throat of the Sitra Achra, who is trying to swallow him up. And then the Sitra Achra, not only is the Sitra Achra silenced, but the Sitra Achra regurgitates. You'll forgive me, vomits out. All of the tefillahs and all of the kedush and all the mitzvahs of Masim that this person, that this person lost over the years, although we're imperfect and blemished and so on. So now Rabbi Nelson brings us towards Purim. Ayes Gimel. Avu bevade ain shum adam yochel lismach hazeh chasas shalom. Person can't be samach nis chasas shalom. A person can't say, "Look, I'll wait till I'm, I'll wait till I get to rock bottom." And then I'm going to turn my life around. You can't do that. Because that's a bechina of what the Mishnah says at the end of Yuma. You can't plan that out. When I, I'll do all the worst of various in the world, and I'm really, really, really in the worst place, I'm feeling terrible, I'll do tshuva. That's, of course, a bechina of echta v'ashuv. And such a person, the Mishnah says, he doesn't end up returning, he doesn't change. Person doesn't know if he'll have the strength to be able to to turn back. Kilafamim his gabrus has sitra achra gadol kalkach, because sometimes the his gabrus of the other side is so strong. Ad shebolas oyso legamer chasasham that mamish swallows the person up completely. Kamoishu mitzinu kamen loshem shavra averes gadol shlo show b'tshuva libesov. Look, let's face it. There are some people that they do averes and averes that get worse and they get worse and they get worse. And they don't do tshuva. They die. As Bali Averis. There's no like happy ending. It's a bad ending. They were swallowed up by the other side. There are many, many things that are involved in a person's life. A person's complicated. We can't understand the mysteries. Of Hashem's knowledge and bechira choshes and free choice, and Hashem suddenly coming to the rescue of this person, or the person being left up to his own devices, we don't know. But one thing we see is clear: there are many, many Jews who, over time, were lost in the most disgusting lowest of areas, and from that place, mamish, they turned around. They turned around. And earlier we saw so he mentioned some of the famous stories in the Gemara, but there are many, many stories like that. But there are, of course, many, many stories that are not like that. That a person was in the lowest, most disgusting things, and Itaka left the world like that. He left the world in a low place. So we don't know. These are not things that could be planned. Our job is to try our best to stay away from trouble. But if it happened in a person's life, not that he planned it, but if it happened, if a person was already over what he was over, at that point he didn't intend on getting there but at that point when he's there he must know and he must believe 
Shain Shum Yesh Barlam Klal. That there's no such thing as not being able to turn back. There's no such thing. And even if he tried a thousand times to be better, to be good, and it didn't end up working, and he ended up slipping again. A guy just told this to me the other day. He didn't say the number a thousand. Sounds like it was many more times than a thousand. And he fell again. Even into the worst of There's still hope. As long as the Nisham is there. As long as he's alive, there's still hope. To strengthen his amuna and to try to draw close to the true Tzadik. To pour his heart out. Before Hashem, she got a lot tzaddik emes to show him to find the true tzaddik. Kadesh ki iskal yodel emunah shleima to come back to full emunah. Vos bevada yesh loy tik v'loylem yech sheyiyah. And then certainly there's always hope. Ki ikah koyach lamad kenegadi yitzahar hu aydei emunah she klal v'ikah kolatar kula. Every Jew, that's what this whole terror is about, Reb Nosson. The emiss is that every Jew has the strength to turn back, to change. Every Jew emiss is a Baal Koach God. And remember what we learned last week, Rabbi Nelson says the greatest tragedy is that a Jew doesn't believe that. He doesn't know that he's a Baal Koach God. I was just learning with the Svadish Shechever a few minutes ago that now it's the Chasima of Shaivavim. Pashas Mishpatim is the last week of Shaivavim. And the Swarm, the Vladnik, and other Tzadikim talk about Shuva Bonim Shoivavim Chutz Me'acher. Hashem Baruch is telling us to return to Him. Shoivav means that we're not behaving. But He calls out to each and every Jew and He says, Shuva Bonim Shoivavim. He wants us to come back to Him. Chutz Me'acher. With the exception of Acher. Acher was Elisha Ben Avuya, right? Chutz Me'acher. So the Vladnik and other Tzadikim explain that the truth is that we find in the Torah by Shmai Shal Hashem Hakan Hashem Achad that the Dalit is a Dalit Rabasi, right? It's a large Dalit. It's a Din that has to be a large Dalit. And we have also in, in Mishnah Torah we have Lo Sishtach Le'el Acher that it's a large Reish. Acher is a large Reish. The word Acher, another God, is a large Reish. And the Swarm say, That of course the truth is that regardless of what a person has done, every single Jew is echad with Hashem. Could Shibrichu Yisrael Varais echad? Every single Jew is echad with a Dalit, with a Dalit Rabbasi. Every single one of us is one with Hashem, regardless of what we've done. The Yetzirah comes and tells a person, Chutz Me'acher. You, you're not God. You don't have a lakus in you. You're already Mishu Acher. You're something else. You're somebody else. You've lost that. Chutz Me'acher. Because the Swami Kedoshim say that Hashem never said those words, Chutz Me'acher. Hashem never said Chutz Me'acher. Acher heard those words. That's what he imagined hearing. Because he himself felt so low and disgusting, he heard Hashem saying, I want every Jew to come back to me, except for Acher. The Swami says, Hashem never said such words, Chutz Me'acher. There's no chutz. Every Jew is, every Jew is welcome back because every Jew is with a dalad, a chad, chad, with Hashem. Every Jew is a shtick elokuz, it's a piece of elokuz. There's no such thing as acher. You can't be other than God. Every Jew is godly. But Elisha ben Avuya was so filled with, with guilt and shame. He was so tzibrochen that he imagined that Hashem was calling out to every Jew in the world except him. Who are you? You're not Echad, you're Acher. You're Acher. You're somebody else. There's a klipa called Acher. It's a terrible klipa that's called Acher that tells a Jew that you're someone else. You're not, you're not, you're not godly. You're not Echad, you're Acher. It's a terrible klipa. But the truth of the matter is 
that Hashem is Baruch is calling out to each and every one, Shuvu Bonim Shavavim, and there's no Chutz Me'acher. There's a Klippa that's called Chutz Me'acher, where a person thinks that he's somebody else, he's not part of the Chavra, and he's being left out. Chutz Me'acher. What makes a person to a Balkar Gadol? Emuna. Emuna is kashas to the tzaddik. Emuna is what makes a person a Balkar Gadol, that even when he's in the most horrible place, he's a Balkar Gadol, that he can mamish, stick a bone in the throat of the Zidrach. Mamish. And turn his whole life around. Ki ikar emuna hu lahamen bechidish Ikke Amun is to believe, and Chiddush Shalom means that every single moment, like the Tani explains in Shai Yichud Amun, every single moment, every single second, every single, every single millisecond, the world is, everything is mischadish, right? It's constantly Hashem. The Varchel Kim Nitzah B'Shemayim, like the Balatani brings to the Balshant of HaKadosh. Every second Hashem is creating the world again. Chiddush Shalom is not something that just happened many years ago. It's this second. That means that this second is a new life, it's a new world. Yesh kone loma b'sha achas, b'sha achas. Laham yishashim is baruch baruch hakol yesh me'ayin. Yesh me'ayin. Now he comes back to the Torah that we were, we were talking about last year. The Rashi at the beginning of Chumash. Zeb b'chinnis koach ma'asav. Now, koach ma'asav. Remember to be bal koach. Bal koach gol. Shazo b'chinnis erges al kanal. Keshem is baruch baruch hakol b'koach asvan. The 28 letters, the Uvda, the Bereshis, the 28 letters of Maisa Bereshis. Of the beginning of Bereshis, will come to Shemayim Besaras. Shem Bechines Koach Masav Higid La'amai. And Hashem is Baruch created the world for the sake of Yisrael. Yisrael is called Bereshis. And Bereshis is for the sake of Yisrael. And Koach Masav Higid La'amai, that He created the world, Yesh Me'ayin. And He revealed this strength to each and every Jew. And when we believe in our Koach, that Hashem created the world for us, and that every moment the world is created anew for the sake of Am Yisrael, we would be able to take back Eretz Yisrael. If we would believe in that, we take back Eretz Yisrael in a minute. Eretz Yisrael would be ours in a minute. Because with this Koach, Koach Shin Eretz Yisrael. The problem is the same thing we were learning last week. If a Jew thinks that he's not a Baal Koach Gadol, of the Jewish people th- think that we're not Bali Kar Godel, we don't feel, we don't believe that we have the strength, that Eretz Yisrael, we don't have the strength to take it back to Eretz Yisrael. And after the beginning, Hashem revealed Koyach Masav Higi La'am, Hal Maisei Bereshis for Yisrael, Koyach Masav Higi La'am, Los Tzlehem Nachlas Goy. Vizo Samun Hi Ikar Kar Shi Yisrael, Les Gaber Kineged Kol HaKlipas Vatarvis Vesitra Nachrin, since the Jew, the world was created for Jew, means the Jew is stronger than anything in the world, because the world was created for the, every Jew. Not, he's just not stamped part of the world. The world was created for him. Therefore, he has the koach of chiddush of his chachis of yesh me'ayin. He has the he has the he's a bal koach to fight against anything of this world, any yitzar, any setrach. I was actually by Tzadik the other day, and talking about the the nisyanis of our generation. And there was a there was a chassid that was standing, some kind of a gabba or shabbos. I don't know. He was standing over there, a uh, cute red red bearded guy. He was standing on the side, and and he's and he started to say how it's not shaykh in our generation to 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 be misgabra on, uh, on the nisyanis of technology. It's not shaykh. And at that moment, both myself and, 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 the, and the Rabbi looked at him and we said, I, 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 it was a little bit chutzpah to give me, I was together with this tzaddik, but the tzaddik said, and, and, and Lahavdla, I said at the same time, what are you talking about? There's no kachti v'mizgabe. How could you say such a thing? There's no kachti v'mizgabe. But you know, that's what the kids are hearing. That there's no kachti v'mizgabe. Unless they hand it in, unless they trade it away, unless they you know, renounce technology, which is too late to do, they can't. They don't have the koach to be misgabra on this thing. 
the only way they could be misgaber if it's not in their hands. But if it's in their hands, they can't be misgaber. That's not true. Our job as parents and as teachers is to teach the children and ourselves that we're, each one of us is a Baal Kor Godel Mamish. A Baal Kor Godel Mamish. That doesn't mean that technology, everything is mutal chas Of course, you have to do the filters, you have to do whatever. But stop making us feel like we're so weak and helpless. A Jew is a Baal Kor Godel. And if, it, and if that kid doesn't feel that he's a Baal Kor Godel, it's not his fault, it's our fault. Why doesn't that kid feel that he has the strength to overcome this? Why doesn't he? He should feel that he, he's a Baal Kor He's not a guy. He's a Yid. He's a Baal Kor Godel. Why is he so? Why does he feel he's so weak? So this this Chassid says, no, it's not possible, Rebbe. It's not possible. It's not possible. And the Rebbe says, what are you talking like that? What are you saying like that? It's not possible. What do you mean it's not possible? It's like an angry person. And you tell him, stop, stop screaming like a Michigan. And he says, it's not possible, I'm a Balkaz. My, my, I'm a Balkaz, my father, my Zayda, they're all Balikaz, all the way back to my Manasina, but Balikaz. I can't change, I'm a Balkaz. I'm a Baltaiv. I can't change. What are you talking like that? A Jew is a Balkar God who comes to my Sibiracious before my Sibiracious. That means the whole world is really Koach Masav Higilam, the 28 letters of Bracious. Is a Higel Amr that a Jew has such koiches? This God be connected to Kol Aklipas Vatayvus and Sitra Achman Begashmi Sabaruchnius. Begashmi Sabaruchnius. Come and see if the Tikkun is as soon as Kesser and the Tikkun is over. Over high koich mistakfin Yisrael al Edom. Come over with the Rebbe and his Chol of Rocha to defeat Edom. I in Sham he calls man Shumakur the Tzadik Emes. Especially calls man that a Jew is Makur to the Tzadik Emes. And by being attached to the true tzaddik, the true tzaddik infuses the person. That's a true tzaddik. Any teacher could be a fine Jew and he knows how to learn. But if he makes his students feel that they're weak, if he makes his followers feel that they don't have the strength to be misgabinates are, that means that he's not a tzaddik emes. He's a fine Jew, but he's not a tzaddik emes. Because the message of a tzaddik emes is, Yesh l'chakach l'hizgabin. Yesh l'chakach. At the Balkoya God, ma'oid. At the Balkoya God. To infuse a person with a muna shleima, lahaman bekoyach masiv. She begins a munas chidush olam, which means I can start again right now. To teach each and every one of his followers, of his students, that you, whatever you did until now, that was. You could be mischadish this second. If you want, you could be mischadish this second. Shu ikra mudal hamid shashem is bar bar hakal be koychel gerasa be chavches asman shemay sebreish zaydeze hakar yuchel es gar be loylem kenegid kol es sitra nachvin against this whole klipa that's called acher. That's what the sitra acher is. That side that tells you that you are aracher, that just that you that it's not you can't do it. That you're somebody else. So you you look at something you see from the Rabbi Nassim, like right now we're reading this Torah, and it could be that God forbid some of you are thinking, or one of you are think, is thinking, it's a beautiful Torah. Nassim is a big genius. He, maybe he's talking about the other guys in the room. He's not talking about me, because by me I'm, I'm ready for foul. So that means that you're seeing in this Torah chutz, and then you have your name. You could fill in chutz me whatever, whatever your name is. Chutz me Moshe Kapaya. But it doesn't say that in Rabbi Nassim. Rabbi Nassim didn't didn't exclude any of us. There's no chutz mei. It's shuvah bonim shavah from everybody. There's no chutz. V'sof kol sof yoshu b'tshuva shleim. The person who wants to, even though it's a side we don't understand, as Rambam himself said, then you have yidi and bechira, and one of the chaver raised at the end last week correctly, that there are tarius from Reb Tzadik and from Ishbitz. Of course, we know that. Those who learned a little bit of Reb Tzaddik and then knows that there are certain Yidin, Reb Tzaddik talks about it in Sikh Tzaddik as well, there are certain Yidin that, that Be'emes Be'emes, even though it's the Cheshmer of Shemaim, they can't overcome a certain Yitzar. But that's not our Cheshmer. That's not our Cheshmer. There's an Indian like that. 
whatever the coin is talking about, it's not for now. Mitzidainu. The avoid is Yosef at Sadiq. Vayonis Vayetza Chutza. So. That we can. Vasitra Achvet Takhzer Vitaki. Kol la Kedushas Shabola. And then not only what happens then is all of a sudden this guy that was in the lowest place. All of a sudden, it's an unbelievable and a half This guy goes from the lowest place to the highest place. Why? Because then he stuck the bone into the throat of the sitrachra, and then the sitrachra throws up and vomits and regurgitates all of the kedusha, all the meisim of this person that were never done bishlemas and all the other things that were not bishlemas. Ad she yizkalasas geirim bali tshuva. We learn from Rabbi Nachman that geirim and bali tshuva, all kinds of kedusha comes to the world. There's covered shemayim that comes into the world, unbelievable covered shemayim. And this is the war that we have for the Malik in every generation. Because this is the Ikka Bechira of a person. That Milchama, the choice that one makes that I'm going to fight. That I'm a Balka, go to the fight against the Yetzar. That's the decision to take on a Malik. Shu Ika Zuamas Hanachash, which is the Ika filth of the snake from Gan Eden. Shimisham Ika Yetzahara, Kiedu, which from there comes the Ika Yetzahara. Zeb Bechin is Purim. Shu Melchemes Haman Amalek. Purim is the Melchama against Haman Amalek. Now what happened in Shushan Habira is an amazing thing. We were not we were not who we were supposed to be. And therefore our tefillahs were our davening and our way of Avodah Hashem was not shlemus. Everything was pogum, was damaged. And an amazing thing happened. Esther Malka is taken to Beisach which is the lowest point. Esther Malka Becomes like the becomes the the queen there to Achishveres, Mamish in the palace of the Sitra. That means that the Jewish people at that time were getting swallowed up by a Malik. La Harug La Hashmilabid was not only physically. We were in a very low place. We were being swallowed up by Haman and Malik. And Davka Yidezer. But Esther was brought into the palace. A bone got stuck in the throat of of the Sitrachra. I came out Purim. And Purim, like we like Abnasan brings in a few lines, is Davka as a result of Purim. Not only did the Jewish people not get killed, but it's Rabbi Me'amiharat's Misyad. There are many Geirin Bali Chuba that came out from Purim. Everything was turned around. There was a Nahaf who that happened in Shusha. Ki Esther he beginis at Fila, but beginis din. Ki at Fila beginis Isha, Yeras Hashem, Ki Adur, which we didn't go into the whole Torah from Rabbi Nachman. That when davening is beginis din, it means when the davening is not going. And because the davening is not going, so the Sitrach who tries to, da- to swallow up that davening. When you're not davening with Kavana, when there's a feeling of Hester upon him, of Esther, so the other side tries to swallow up your whole davening. Davening is Esther because davening is tefillah, it's bechin, it's ishi, yiras Hashem. It's the bechin of a, of a God-fearing woman. Uchsha tefillah, hiba bechin, is din. And when the davening is not going, davening is called an ishi, yiras Hashem. When the davening is not going well, it's called Esther, which means hidden. You don't feel a connection to Hashem. As I hear Chris Esther, Loshon has Torah, which is a Loshon of concealment. Shu Bechin is Din, which is Din. Bechin is Vanoichi has Torah, as it says in Chumash, 
that Hashem is hidden from the person. So you don't feel like davening. That's called Esther. It's hidden from you. You don't have a cheshek. Your davening is your davening is damaged. Is without kavana. And when the davening, davke then, when the davening was bechinas din, when the Jewish people no longer had a cheshek to daven. The davening was not going well at all. And there was a state of Esther, of haster, aster, of concealment. So Isaiah Sitrach, then the Sitrach was coming in for the kill. Every single Jew to swallow up. To swallow up our davening, to swallow up all of our Kedusha. And that is the side of Esther being taken into the palace of Achishveres, being swallowed up by Achishveres. That Esther, that means a Jew who's living in a state of concealment and his davening is not going. The Sitrach, which is base Achishveres, tries to swallow up so Esther is taken into the house into the palace of Loi Toiv of Achashveus that Esther is being swallowed up the Jew who is in the place of Hest upon him who is davening and whatever is not connecting is being swallowed up and Esther Malka is being swallowed up in the in the in the palace of Achashverosh, which is the palace of the Sitra Achra, of the Malchus of Yeshua. Okay, Sitra Achra writes Levala, because the Sitra Achra wants to swallow up a Jew who's not doing well. But Esther turned out to be a Baal's Koyach God, a murder of Baal's Koyach. So not only was Achishverosh and Haman, not only was the Sitra Achver not able to swallow up Esther, meaning a Jew in a state of Esther, and it's feel it's in a state of Esther, not only was Achishverosh and Haman, not only were they unable to swallow up Esther, other he owned the Bebe Sabliya Esther got stuck in their throats. In the palace. Ajah Sitra Achver Nosna Hakos, Aydeza. To the point that the Sitra Achra began to vomit. The Davke by taking Esther to swallow couldn't swallow. Esther became like a bone in the throat of the Sitra Achra. The Sitra Achra was Davke destroyed by the same Esther who the Sitra Achra thought was going to swallow up. Everything became v'na hafaychu. Asher yishla to ayyudim heim b'say neya. Tanya ma pelas haman amolik, which was the downfall of of haman amolik. That's where everything in the Megillah is v'na hafaychu. Eitz gavur hamisha mama. That is that's the tree to kill Mordechai. That's the tree that killed haman v'chul v'chul. The whole Purim is v'na hafaychu, because everything is regurgitated. Everything is everything is vomited up. Everything is turned around completely. Not only were the not only was Amalek at that time Amalek was not able to to what to swallow up and to destroy Am Yisrael, which was what Haman wanted. Yisrael from the worst darkness like Yehudim Haisa Arav Simcha V'Sasan Yikar from the from being swallowed up. We swallowed up our enemies. And it was a big mapola, it was a big mechias amole. Just the opposite. And then they were filled with murder de kedusha, and the whole Torah Shabal Peh, and Kimu Vikiblu. They, they, from the lowest place, they were in the lowest place, everything turned around through the regurgitating, the regurgitating of kedusha. And then just everything turned around, and the biggest kedusha was coming out. And the yontiv Purim, which is the biggest yontiv we have, is Purim. So not only were we not destroyed, but Esther got the was tilokach and was stuck in the throat of Haman Achashverosh, and the Sitra Achar regurgitated everything, and then came out from there the biggest madregas of Purim. 
All these great things. These are all the things that the Sitrach was trying to swallow. Simchas Yontiv and Kedusha and Tefillin and so on. Pesmila. To destroy everything. Hakol Echzir LaKedusha As a result of Avesta and Purim La Yehudim Haisa Erevisim What do you mean Haisa? We always had We always had Yontiv and Tefillin and so on. No. Because it was disappearing. It was being swallowed. And we weren't shy anymore. We were very far. But as a result of Purim, La Yehudim Haisa, it all was regurgitated. Kihuchu Chalit and Hakos, because the Sitra Acha had to vomit. Haide Lakichas Esther, La Beis Achesveres. By trying to swallow up Esther in the Beis Achesveres, the Beis Achesveres choked. And through that choking, vomited up all the Kedusha. La Yehudim Haisa, Arabi Simcha, Vesas, she begins at Tvila, begins Din. She nilke chala sitrachar canal. For us, Lloyd died, Sheikh Zeril Yisrael Kala Kedushas are mitzvahs. Not only did the Jews get back to all the mitzvahs, Tvilin and Vesmila and Simchas Yante, like Hudam Haisa Arbis, not only did we get back everything, Chalg Lossam Chvadim Vachashivusa, and all the godless, and all the covet, and all the chashivas. We were about to be destroyed, and now the Jewish people became the most important people, the whole Malchus of Ashvesh, the biggest people. And the ones who were trying to kill us, now we're killing. That means that after the after the Hamaisa, all of the all of those who were enemies, now they're like looking up to us with the most chashva people in the world. They lifted us up. We all like became big shots. They were about to kill us, and now menasim as yehudim. The whole thing was Chorban. And, and from here came out what? That, that the son of Esther was Kurdish and Binyan Besa Mikdish. The Hexer Kola Kalim Lebesa Mikdish. The same Kalim that Achishvers had brought out and they was making fun by the big suit over there at the beginning of Megil's Esther. Now all the Kalim go back to Besa Mikdish. Lord Daiba Khalzah. And not only that, I've called Atzmus Chiyusam Hochukulahaki. Not only that, but but the our enemies were coughing up and vomiting up their own chiyas. If it's Elbuchin is Geirim, and because they were vomiting out their own chiyas, so from within the Goyim themselves came out Geirim Jews. There's no bigger than Hafeichu in the whole story of Purim that they were Geirim, because it's a much bigger than than anything else that a Goy becomes a Jew. Because that's crazy that a guy could become a Jew. But that's what happened. That we know that many, many Goyim converted then. They converted. Whatever it says. They're afraid now. Everything is mamish for the Everything is coughed up. Hamenachesveres choking, and all the kedushas Yisrael is is, is 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 coming out. So now all of a sudden everybody's being misguided, and the all machshiv and menasim as a Yehudim and so on. Hey, v'zel b'chin is taikiv for national purim, and this is the great strength of the miracle of purim. This is what's holding us over the years of galus. It's a wondrous miracle. There was never anything like it. Which, of course, that seems like a strange thing to say because there's nothing miraculous at all in the whole story, right? There's not one miracle when you read Miguel Zasta. Nothing, no oceans are splitting, no, no, no food falling from the sky, nothing. I'm not says such a lotion. That when all the Yom Tavim of Mishiach will come, Purim is going to be the biggest day. And that Yom Kippur is Yom Kippurim, as you know it says in the Tikkun Ezar, that Yom Kippur is only like Purim. Purim is the biggest day.
they're probably more Bali Tshuva from Purim than from Yom Kippur. It's a strange thing. But Yom Kippur is a, day, is a day when you don't eat. And Purim is a day when Jews are vomiting. Sorry I talked about it. It's a Yom Hakoos. It's a day of, of people throwing up. The Rabbi Me'am Harris, Ms. Not that I'm in any way promoting that. <laughs> I happen to hate that kind of stuff. But there's an amazing thing about Purim. The regurgitation of Jews. Things of Kedusha coming out. Things that were hidden for many, many years. And some guy had a drink and he starts to cry and he starts to talk about the British law. There's not such a nice like Purim. That all the other days are going to become like secondary important. Purim is the biggest. When Mashiach comes, Purim is the biggest. Haman wanted to kill every Jew. Haman wanted to kill every Jew. Haman wanted to kill every Jew. The Indian of Haman, the Yitzhar of Haman, is to make a Jew think that he doesn't have the strength. He just doesn't have the strength to do it. That's the clip of Haman. That you're not about, Haman tells you, you're not about God. He says the Jews used to be strong, but they lost all their strength and God left them. They're weak. He even said that about Hashem, Chazal said that he said, that their God is old. He doesn't have the strength to, to, to save them. Haman is the Koch of Merchant the Kat is to take a Jew and to make him into to make him to a person who thinks that he doesn't have the Koch. He doesn't have the strength. That a person thinks he does not have the strength to hold himself back from looking at something disgusting on the computer. He doesn't have the strength to hold himself back from looking at a girl or whatever, doing something. Ikah no so that Philip in his dinch, Labal Koyakanal, Shamedza Sitra, Bikin Samal, 